Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have possibly the easiest Valentine's Day look you're going to find today on the internet. So I hope you're ready, pull out your makeup, and let's get started. To start off this look, I'm going to apply my moisturizer to my face. Applying your moisturizer first is the foundation to gorgeous, soft looking skin. Then I went in with my highlighting drops. I like to apply this all over my face for a glowy undertone. <laughs> and now I'm going to move on to my brows. I did recently post a full L'Oreal brow tutorial for you guys on my Instagram, so definitely check that out. I'll link it down below for you. I'm using my L'Oreal Paris Boost and Set Brow Mascara in both light brunette and dark brunette. I use the light brunette in the front end of my brow and the dark brunette at the end tail of my brow to really give it some more definition. Then I'm going to go in with my brow stylist sculpted pencil and the shade I use is brunette. This pencil is an oldie but favorite of mine. Um, I have recently been really loving the Defina mechanical pencil but I ran out so I had to go in with the, another trusted product and that was it. Now I'm going to go in with my face products and this is my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. As you guys know, this is definitely uh, my most reached for foundation ever, whether I'm filming or really putting makeup on for my real life. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really, really love it. If you haven't tried it, I would say go ahead and try it. Now we're going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match New Concealers. And as you can see, they come in this little twist up applicator and it has a little foam uh, cushiony tip uh, that applies your product nicely and you can blend out with it if you use it underneath your eyes i'm using the dark shade so that i can contour with it was really easy to get around the small areas like my nose and also just to pinpoint where i wanted to contour around my lips and also my cheekbones now i'm going to go in with my infallible pro glow concealer in number 04 for underneath my eyes because i want it a little bit more brightening i would have used the l'oreal true match new concealers but i didn't have my highlighting shade so this is my finished face and now we're going to go in with the eyes and when i say this is the easiest look ever this is the easiest look ever. <laughs> so I'm just taking a brown pencil to really outline where I want some of my smokiness because I'm not applying a lot of eyeshadow. So this is mostly about your eyeliner. So I decided to go in with this softer brown to outline because I'm going to apply a black later and I wanted it to look extremely uh, blended out and diffused. So using the brown allowed me to give it more of a gradient look versus is black on black so I would have to blend out more and like I said I wanted this look to be super easy for you guys I know not everyone um, is a makeup professional so I wanted to make sure that no matter what level you were at you can still apply this look so now we're gonna go in with that black gel eyeliner and this is the L'Oreal infallible gel eyeliner in black and I'm using a very fine tip pencil from makeup forever um, pencil brush sorry for makeup forever to really get that eyeliner where I want it because this part we do have to go a lot slower um, it has to be more precise so I'm taking it up towards my crease and then I'm bringing it in to my crease and then I'm going to stop because I wanted um, this to open up my eyes and sometimes you lose your eyeliner when you look up so I wanted to make sure that this is gonna be a look that everyone can use. I don't have hooded eyes, but if you do, this will be an excellent technique for you for your eyeliner. So I went in with the Balm Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner to really get close to my lash line and to go over everything and make sure it was intense. And then before that dried, I took a blending brush and started to blend and feather it out so it was smoky. And now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Paris True Match powder foundation and this is in the shade C8 and I'm just blending underneath my eyes and in my crease to give it more of a defined look. As you can see, I did not go in with any eyeshadows for this entire look. 
Now I'm just highlighting underneath my eyes to really make them look super sultry. And then for a pop of romance, I went in with this peachy blush. I'm using the L'Oreal Glow New Highlighter Palette in Sunkiss to highlight my face down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. For this look, I wanted to really exaggerate my lower lashes, so I went in with the L'Oreal Paris Superstar Voluminous New Mascara, and it has two ends. One end has a black primer, and the other end has fibers in it, which has more fibers than the original Superstar Mascara, so you really get a lot of lashes. <laughs> Now I'm going to line my lips using the Colorish Matte Lip Liner in 104 and this is the most gorgeous lip liner for a bright red lip if you like to add that definition around your lip line and uh, this is also going to help create a gorgeous ombre effect to my lipstick. The key here is to blend it out with your lip brush and then go in with your lipstick, blend and apply, blend and apply. <laughs> This lipstick is by Collab Makeup and it's their liquid lipstick in Blood Rush. This completes your look and I hope you guys truly enjoyed it because I enjoyed creating it for you. I loved wearing it. Um, I think I will definitely be wearing this look for today's actual Valentine's Day date tonight with my husband. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you recreate this, please do not hesitate to tag me on social media so I can get a look at it. Thank you so much for watching. Till my next video, stay beautiful.